Hello viewers, welcome to this video on revision mathematics. Um, we have a form 3 paper here that I want us to look at. And of course, um, the first question reads, uh, use the inverse matrix method rule to solve the simultaneous equation. Uh, the first question. Second one is make x the subject of the formula and eventually we have r is partly constant and partly varies as the square of q when r is 5 q is equals to 1 so i should indicate here q is equals to 1 and r equals to 21 when q is 3 find the value of r when q is 5 so without further ado let's get started right. okay so we have <clears throat> the first thing we need to do is to extract a matrix from here and we have a 2 1 uh, then 2 and always it's always important to check what you have here like you can see uh, These uh, variables don't match. We have x y y x. We should have x x y y or y y x x, right? so It seems like even if I were to bring this here the matrix doesn't change Okay, the structure of the matrix remains the same. So you have x y equals to 10 14 you can also simplify the matrix i mean the equations before you write them like this like you would see that this one is divisible by two across but uh even if you don't do so it's still okay so the, the second thing i'm going to do is to presuppose that this matrix is called a so i just call that matrix a you don't have to call it that way but just for convenience i want it called a okay from there i now want to take the following steps first one is get the determinant of a just wanted that matrix to have you know an identity okay so the determinant is going to be this times that minus this times that which is uh, 2 times 2 minus 2 times 1 and this will give me 4 minus 2 which is nothing but a 2. Then I want to get inverse of A, which is a 1 over determinant times the, the matrix here when it has been transposed. Like I take this one here, this one here, then the rest acquire negative sign. So we have 2, 2, negative 1, negative 2. And that's the inverse of this uh, matrix A. From here, I know that if I take uh, my inverse, A inverse multiplied by A is equals to an identity. So, if I take this inverse, I multiply by this matrix here, I'm going to get an identity, which is, if I have 1 over 2 into 2, negative 2, negative 1, 2, then... 2, 1, 2, 2, and then I multiply by x, y. This is going to give me identity. Of course, now we come here. We have identity, which is a 2 by 2 identity matrix, like that. Then x, y. And this is the same as multiplying, pre-multiplying these numbers in front here with that inverse. So like I multiply by inverse both sides, so I will have 1 over 2 into uh, 2 negative 1 uh, negative 2 2 then I take uh, that is 10 and 14 yeah so when you multiply anything by an identity you get the number itself so I get x and y and on this side when I multiply I'm going to get 2 times 10 minus 14 that's 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 is equals to 6 and then I have um negative 2 times 10 that's negative 20 plus 20 that's 8 so when you simplify you get x y is going to be equal to 3 and 4 here so you write it x equals to 3 and y equals to 4 and that's the solution to that problem okay right so coming down here 
you have to make x the subject of the formula and we are told that a is equal to square root of 3 plus 2x over 5 minus 4x and whenever you have a square root here you go to square both sides so we have a squared equals to 3 plus 2x over 5 minus 4x you cross multiply you have a squared into 5 minus 4x equals to 3 plus 2x then you distribute a squared you're going to have 5a squared minus 4x a squared is equals to 3 plus 2x you still want to group the x together so like terms together you have 5a squared minus 3 is equals to 2x plus 4x a squared and we need to factor x from here we have 2 plus 4 a squared is equals to 5 a squared minus 3 and now x is equals to 5 a squared minus 3 over 2 plus 4 a squared and that's how it is done so let's go to the third part quickly alt is partly constant and partly varies as the square of q uh, when r is equal to 5, q is equal to 1, and r equals to 21, when q is equal to 3, find the value of r when q is 5. So we are told that r varies partly as a constant and partly as q squared. So this means that if we remove the proportional sign, we are going to have that, and we introduce two constants, that is k and m. Now we are told that when r is 5, q is 1, so we have k plus you know m and then when r is 21 q is equals to 3 so we have k plus 9 m so we want to solve these two as two simul two equations simultaneously so when you solve this you're going to get um, 8 m here is equals to 16 so go to divide both sides by 8 you have by 8 by 8 so m is 2 okay so when we take the first equation that is 5 is equals to k plus m m is 2 so we got to determine the value of k which is going to be equal to 3 now r is equals to 3 plus 2 q squared this is now what we call the equation connecting and we are supposed to determine r when uh, q is 5 so we have r is equals to 3 plus 2 times 25 right that's when you square and this gives me 3 plus 50 which is 53 thank you